friends and happy Cinco de Mayo. Today is May 5th, it's a Wednesday, and you guys will actually be watching this, I believe, on a Monday by the time that this goes live. But today I am actually here in my backyard and I'm getting ready to have some of my new patio furniture delivered. I'm so excited, it should be here like any time. If you guys watched my videos from a few weeks ago now, I got a new rug, we got this new sectional for a backyard, and I actually have somebody coming out today to quote us on our yard to finish up the landscaping. Ever since we put in our pool, I don't know how well you can see it out here, we have not completed the yard with like the landscaping and stuff. So we have somebody coming by today to quote us for that, getting my new furniture. Mother's Day is on Sunday. So I really want to get this area spruced up because I'm hosting Mother's Day with my mom and my mother-in-law. So I just wanna get this area looking like nice and clean and just beautiful for their special day. So I figured why not go ahead and pick up the camera and film it. We can get this area all cleaned up. So if you guys have an outdoor space that you need some motivation to tackle, it is springtime, so we're gonna be outdoors a little bit more than we would have a few months ago. So I figured why not go ahead and take you guys with me and give you guys some ideas. Of course, keeping everything very simple and budget friendly. I also want to tackle a Cricut project. I have these pillow inserts and I ordered some pillow covers and I wanna make some cute DIY um, pillow covers. Maybe say something really cute on here with my Cricut. So I thought that might be fun to also document for you guys. So I'm just gonna kinda hang out and have my coffee until my furniture gets here and then we'll get started. All right, I figured before we tackle this patio, I would give you guys just a really quick overview and show you guys what I'm working with. As you can see, everything is just very dusty out here. The table and this trash can, my screens, my windows, everything needs a little bit of love. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly my backyard, show you all what we're working with, and then we're gonna jump right in and get this cleaned up and just make it look nice and refreshed. As you can see, this table has been just a little bit of a catch-all back here, so I figured it might be a good place to start. Sometimes the hardest part about cleaning a space is just getting started. So sometimes just pick an area, get started, and the rest seems to just kind of fall into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear off this table and then grab some simple green spray and a microfiber cloth and go ahead and start wiping down this tabletop. After this is all clean, I will move on to the bottoms of the chairs and the chair backs. I am hosting Mother's Day on Sunday, which I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and I wanna make sure that everything is all nice and clean. Since it is now spring and we're going to be spending a lot more time back here, my husband and I decided to shift focus from inside the house to the outside. And so we decided to go ahead and finish the landscaping in our yard. And since I recorded the beginning of this video, I have met with a landscaper and we have hired him. I'm just waiting to hear back to see when he can actually start the project. So I'm really excited to kind of share that process with you all. I think it's going to turn out really, really beautiful. But this chair set here, we've actually had for a very long time and it's still in decent shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and not only wipe it down today, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for new cushions. I replaced the cushions a couple summers ago and they're just kind of worn out. So if you guys have a good spot that you guys shop for your outdoor furniture or even just like outdoor like pillows and umbrellas, I would love to hear down below. I've been searching Amazon, but they are so expensive. So if you guys have like a good place that you guys shop for maybe a more affordable price, I don't know what it is about these seat cushions, but they're easily $30 a piece. I 
As you can see, there's a ton of cobwebs under here, probably because we weren't sitting at this table a whole lot during the winter time. Even though I'm in Southern California, I think anything under 70 degrees is super cold, so I don't spend a lot of time out here. So I thought I would go ahead and just grab my broom and flip these over and just get all those cobwebs just knocked off the bottom and then go ahead and use the same simple green solution I used on the tabletop. Grab a fresh cloth and go ahead and wipe these down. Never thought I would I'm already on a roll with dusting this outside. I went ahead and grabbed my broom again. I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my window screens. I actually have never done this. I think usually I just hose everything down, but it worked really, really well. And it also worked really good on the stucco outside the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these outside screens and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my favorite glass cleaner spray away. You can get this on Amazon, Target, pretty much anywhere. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray these outside windows. I'm pretty good about cleaning the inside ones, but I don't remember the last time that I've wiped down them on the outside, so I figured today is a good day to catch up on that. Also wanted to give you guys a little LASIK update. I am actually one day post-op while I'm doing this voiceover. I got my LASIK done yesterday and it was a success. I had my post-op appointment today and it is just so crazy to be able to see. I went from having vision of 2400 to 20 over 15 and it can only get better from here. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. Overall, it was a very interesting process I can say but I have no regrets and I'm so happy I did it so if you've ever been on the fence about doing LASIK I would definitely look into it I cannot wait to just now look forward to so many mornings of just being able to wake up in the morning and be able to see and not having to just grab for my glasses so I just wanted to update you guys on that that the surgery is all done and it was a success and I could not be more pleased you say you do at night, but in the morning you just sleep. I need more of. wait until we can get this yard all landscaped and finished we are going with a more tropical theme and going with the palm trees and I just cannot wait to sit in these chairs right here on my reef shelf these chairs are awesome they have a little place to put your wine glass or margarita glass or your cup a place to hang your sunglasses even put your phone and I love to post up under this umbrella and just watch the boys swim for hours with us, it's on a
guys are still with me thank you i cannot wait to show you guys the final reveal and this is only really part one because once we get this yard landscape we'll really be able to kick this up a notch but i'm really loving how this patio area is turning out so thank you for sticking with me and make sure you stick around until the very end i would love to hear what you guys think of how it all comes out So I just got back from Lowe's and Home Goods, and I snagged a few things and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So first I'll show you guys these two pots that I picked up from Home Goods. They're like this really beautiful light blue color and I got a big size or like a medium size and a small size and they're the exact same pattern. This guy was um, $29.99 and this guy was $19.99. And then I got a few other things from Home Goods too, but I'll show you guys in just a second. They're in the house. I picked up these beautiful flowers from Lowe's and they were already in the pot. I think, I think this was 35. So it came in a pot already with these beautiful flowers. So I thought that was actually a really good price. Look, if this palm tree will just like get out of the way. Look how beautiful these flowers are. And then the other flowers I picked up, these are called African Marigolds. And I thought these were a really good deal too, as you can see, only $10.98. And I'll probably swap out this pot, but this one isn't bad for now. But I thought these were so beautiful. Look how perfect these flowers are. And the other thing I got is I picked up this palm tree. I don't know what kind of palm this is, you guys. <laughs> But he was only 20 bucks. Let's see if it'll say what kind of palm tree he is. I'm not sure. But I got him and I'm going to be putting this guy in that larger one. And then I think I'm gonna be putting the African marigolds in the smaller one. And then for now, I'll just leave these really beautiful flowers in this pot. These are the other items that I picked up from Home Goods. Like I said, um, Mother's Day is this Sunday, and I thought these wooden signs were so perfect for Mother's Day. So I picked up this one, so you guys can see. So, so cute, and I think this was $24.99. Yeah, $24.99 from Home Goods. And then this one, same idea, $24.99 just a different saying so i picked those up i think i'm gonna give this one to my mom and then i'll give this one to my mother-in-law and then i'm like out of breath you guys it's like 90 degrees outside it is so hot and i was like lugging around plants and my two boys so anyways i also picked up this beautiful vase it almost looks like handmade and it's this beautiful blue color and my kids are home, so I'm sorry that it's loud. Um, and this was also $29.99, and I'm going to be putting this in my shelves over by my TV. So I'll have to show you guys what that looks like once I have it put up there. But that's my little haul for today. We can always stay a little longer. We don't have a plan. Just let me live a little younger than I really am. We've got nothing here to save us, save us from ourselves. Let's live life like it's made up, jump in the wishing well. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. 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 As you can see, the rest of my patio set arrived and I was just so excited, I could not wait. And one thing I learned when this sectional arrived is that these already came pre-assembled. So I really didn't want to have to wait until my husband got home and I really didn't have to since I didn't have to put anything together. They were a little heavy and awkward but guys I got it done and I'm just so so excited about this set. 
This whole set is from Living Spaces and it's called the Malaga. And there is a whole set that goes with this. There's matching lounge chairs, there's matching dinette, there's end tables, there's different types of sofas to choose from, but I just loved how like simple yet modern it was. And it is such high quality. So if you guys are in the market for really nice, patio furniture or outdoor furniture of any sort definitely check out living spaces so here is the furniture here is the sectional. So these actually used to be on my couch and I had them in my closet with my other decor and I decided to go ahead and bring them out here because I thought it looked really nice with the rug. And then these are my two pillow inserts that I'm going to be DIYing. I won't have time to do that today so this is going to be over the course of a couple of days, this little makeover. And then another pillow. And then I'm going to be decorating this coffee table here. This is a little flower that we picked up that Colton picked out. Here's what it is. It's really, really cute. So I'll be getting all this decorated. I have so many ideas. And then here are the matching chairs. The light right now is really, really throwing the camera. So when I pick up the camera, to do more out here. I'll definitely have to do it when the sun, it's just like a different time of day. Let me see if I can shoot from this way, see if it'll be any better. Here we go. So there's the sectional, the coffee table, and then both the chairs. I feel like I should get two um, like lumbar pillows maybe for those. You guys will have to let me know. But that's gonna do it for today, so we'll go ahead and pick up the rest tomorrow. It's day two of this patio clean and refresh and I'm finally gonna go ahead and pot these plants that I picked up. The tree, I thought I was gonna be able to get it out of this pot but it was really, really in there and I didn't wanna bother it too much. So I figured I would go ahead and just keep it in the pot for now and then as I water it over time, I think it'll loosen up and then I can go ahead and put it in this pot more permanently. And then the other flower I got I think it's called the African marigold I'm gonna go ahead and pot it in this smaller plant right here and the lady at Lowe's told me I should pick up some of this I don't remember what it's called it's like pearl something and to throw it in there with the pot and I'm gonna go ahead and use the soil that came with the flower already and then I'm just gonna water it down so the soil will really set into the pot and I made sure that I got plants that were good for partial Sun or just a certain amount of sun per day. So I'm really good at killing plants. So I made sure I was really careful about this and I'm really hoping I could keep these alive because I think they're so pretty. With this last pot, I thought it might look cute on this little side table that I already owned. I actually got this from Lowe's, I think it was last year. It was a set of two, but it was just too oversized. So I actually ended up moving it over with the other two pots you guys just saw by the end of this video but now I'm kind of thinking I even want to move it again after living with it for a few days and I'm thinking I want to move it over closer to my sliding glass door. Now we're on to the fun part of today's video and that is going to be a very easy little craft project that I wanted to share with you all using my Cricut Explore Air 2. This machine is so cool. It cuts a hundred different materials from things like cardstock, vinyl, iron-ons, and even specialty materials like glitter paper, cork, and bonded fabric. As you can see, this machine has such a sleek design and I'm loving the color. They actually come in a variety of other colors and it has tons of storage to keep all of your tools when you're not using them. 
as a couple of storage compartments right here in the door and then another one right to the left hand side and then it has the dial over on the right hand side where you can actually choose the material that you're working with then all you have to do is go into the Cricut design space and go through the assortment of different fonts and graphics that they have. There's so many fun ones to choose from and I will show you guys a couple of the designs that I chose today. My first one, I'm going to just go straight to one of my fonts that I use all the time. And then another one, I'm going to be going into the graphic area and choosing something a little bit more fun and different. While I was crafting, I kind of knew what I had in mind, but didn't have like a solid idea. So it was really nice to be able to scroll the different fonts and all the different graphics and kind of just get ideas. So I went ahead and just used my favorite font and I typed it in the design space and then went ahead to the next page and I got everything all centered on the mat. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my iron on vinyl and just size this down just a little bit. That way it's just easier to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the machine mat right here and use my scraper just to make sure that it gets all of the air bubbles out. Then once that's done, I'm able to put it into my Cricut machine and it really easily sucks it into the machine. And when I press go, it starts to make my project. And this machine is so satisfying to watch. The other tool that I'm going to be using in today's video to make my custom throw pillows is my Cricut Easy Press. This is so neat. It's the 9x9 and what it does is it heats up and that way I'm able to iron on my design onto my pillows or I've even made t-shirts with it. It's very user friendly so I'm going to go ahead and get this warming up while I go ahead and weed out my project. I went ahead and kept my project on this mat and then I'm going to go in with my weeding tool and just pull off any of the vinyl that I don't need. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this little heat pad that comes with my easy press and put it inside of my throw pillow. That way it kind of protects everything on the other side of my project. And I'm going to go ahead and take my easy press and just kind of iron out and warm up the surface. pillow cover is nice and ironed out and warm so now it's ready for the iron on vinyl so I went ahead and peeled it off of my mat and went ahead and just kind of eyeballed where I wanted it to be on the pillow cover then I grabbed my easy press and I just kind of moved it around the vinyl just for a few seconds at a time you don't want to leave it sitting there and then I went ahead and just did a little test check and I saw that it was completely stuck to the pillow. So I went ahead and peeled off the rest of the plastic and the vinyl was still intact. Next, I'm going to go ahead and have my Cricut cut out the second half of my design. I'm going to do this in a blue iron-on vinyl. And here's Colton making a little debut. He loves to come in here and watch me craft with my Cricut projects. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put down my vinyl and then move my easy press over the top and then just go ahead and carefully peel it off. And here you can see this pillow says homebody and I cannot wait to show you guys what this looks like in the space. I also have another little surprise project that I want to share with you guys since I had two pillow covers. I found this design in the graphic area. All I did was type in margarita and I saw this design and it says in the most beautiful font you had me at margarita so i went ahead and put that on my other pillow and it all just came together so nicely so excited to show you guys this final result as i go ahead and pull the rest of this yard together my Cricut was such a great investment and I honestly could not have found these pillows anywhere else and it's just so nice to know that I can just go in my office and make my own home decor like I did today or even make me and the boys some custom shirts or even put together personal gifts for friends and family and I just cannot recommend the Cricut products enough. So if you guys are interested in maybe investing in a Cricut machine for yourself, go ahead and scroll down to my description box and I will have a link for you there. I cannot wait to get everything put out here and just pull this whole patio together. I'm going to go ahead and put out this throw blanket and throw pillow that I found at TJ Maxx. They were $19.99 each. 
and then I'm gonna put out my throw pillows that I made today and I can't wait for you guys to see them in this space the spot is heating up I'm gonna pour a couple glasses of wine and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result So pleased with how everything came out and I would love to hear all of your thoughts down below like I said this is a part one and we will actually be getting our backyard completely landscaped so make sure you guys stick around and hit subscribe if you guys want to make sure that you see the actual final result back here hopefully in the next few weeks also like this video if you enjoyed it I love doing clean and just refresh videos for you guys as you can see, it's golden hour here and it's time to sit down and just relax for a little bit. I also wanted to remind you all to check the description box and check out Cricut. They have so many neat products over on their website. They also have the Easy Press 2 that you guys saw in today's video, which is always so fun if you want to make some t-shirts. But other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!